So in this video, I'll be showing how I use Scissor Easy Color DTV for the first time and how it came out. I'll be showing, I'll be talking about the quality. I did a wash and a dry test, uh, a stretch test, and uh, I'll let you know what I think. So first I pulled my design from Illustrator over into Cricut Maker Design Space. And now that I have my design over into the uh, design space, I select my size and for this particular design, I'm going to use the 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, but uh, you know Cricut does bigger designs now. At first you, we used to be limited to on the print and cut selection, it used to be like I think 9 by 6 or something like that, but now Cricut does bigger, bigger uh, designs. I'm glad they did that update to the print and cut. So once I have my design, the size that I would like it, I click make it and make it will bring me over to my Cricut matte screen where, where I would make sure that uh, I don't have it mirrored. You don't want to mirror it. You want to keep it plain like it is because it'll be laying directly on the shirt and make sure that my uh, size of my paper and everything is lined up because this is how you are going to put it on the Cricut matte. Then you hit continue, that'll bring you over to the uh, center printer screen. So then my print setup pops up. So my print setup, you wanna make sure that everything is uh, inside of the box and you wanna make sure your printer is selected, add bleed, and you wanna turn this on the system dialog so you can get the uh, your printer's uh, preferences. So you click printer preference once that pops up. And uh, I, I wanna leave it portrait mode for this one. I don't mess with that, I don't mess with that. Then we go to page quality. Uh, for this design, since I'm using the smaller sheets of paper, I'm gonna do the main tray. Uh, I don't mess with that. Keep that color, let's go to advanced. So for advanced, you wanna make sure that everything, your paper size is lined up. Color, I don't mess with that. Boil, I don't mess with that for this. So for this, I wanna make sure I put high quality. Uh, output quality, you wanna make sure that's high. You hit okay, hit okay and then you hit print and that's it then we go over to the printer and uh we got a nice design printed out then we put it on the Cricut mat exactly how it is on the Cricut mat screen so that it could uh cut right i had to calibrate recalibrate my Cricut, and that was a success so once it's finished cutting i go ahead and weed it and uh once i got it all weeded out that's how it look. So now I go use my Frisco craft transfer uh, paper. I cut it to about the same size, a little bit bigger than what the uh, design is. And then I use the Cricut squeegee just to squeegee it down and make sure that it's flush against the uh, design. And now what I'm going to do is peel the design so it can be on my transfer tape and ready to print. So I want to do this real slow. I did it really carefully because this uh, easy, I mean, this easy color vinyl, it's kind of delicate. So you don't want to rip the vinyl. So you want to take your time and pull it back slowly. And then once I peel it and have it all peeled back, this is what it'll look like. This is the back of it. And this is the front of it right here. It's clean, ready to go. So now, boom, I pop my heat pad, heat press pillow in there, give it a pre-press to knock out all the moisture. Then I put my design in place. Boom, it's where I want it. So uh, we're going to press it for 15 seconds at about 315 degrees, medium pressure. Boom, that's done. It's a warm peel, so I let it cool off just a little bit. And now we're going to peel it. We're going to peel it slowly. Make sure nothing is coming up. It's looking good. And boom, that's it. And I hit it for a second time to uh, lock it in. Make sure everything is bonded well. I pressed it twice and this came out beautifully smooth. And that's how it looks. Yep, that's how it looks. It's, it's nice. Uh, the colors are vibrant. Uh, it's pretty durable. I stretched it to see would it crack or anything. And it didn't, it didn't crack. It looks good. Uh, I would really recommend this easy color uh, by Scissor. And you know, I had to do a wash test on it because it's, I was like, man, this is too good to be true. Let's see if the colors will come out or anything will fade, but nothing. I did a regular wash uh, with all my other clothes. I didn't turn it inside out or anything. Cold water uh, with other color clothes. Uh, man, nothing faded, nothing cracked, nothing peeled. And uh, I put it in a dryer as well just to see what it happened. 
Uh, I didn't change my settings. This is the normal settings that I always have on the dryer. Boom, nothing cracked, nothing faded, nothing peeled. So, uh, man, they got the they passed the stretch the stretch test. They passed the wash test. They passed the dry test. They passed the color pop test. So I would recommend this Easy Color DVT by Scissor if you're doing uh, small orders. So yeah, it's legit. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you watched all the way to the end and if you're interested in this tank top, I'll give you a coupon if you comment down below and say coupon. Also, I'll have some links down in the description. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to the vibe. Till next time, peace.